Hello, hi. Uh, welcome to our tutorial today. And our right now today we're going to learn how to to make a 3D model for this cosmetic tin. Just an example of uh, the tin we're going to do. We're going to do it in Rhino, Rhino 3D. Um, this is how the tin will look like and in the rain it's already done but we're gonna start we're going to let's go back to the beginning and we see how we came up with this with this 3d model um, as I told you last time uh, when you're working with rain you you use uh, this for views the top the front, the, the right, and the perspective. So this perspective and all what we are in shall come from these three views. Uh, let's work first. Work with the with the front view. The front view we shall have these lines. These two lines. So let's have these lines. Um, we shall have something like a rectangle. Then this rectangle we shall we shall divide it in two. two. Let's try to draw a line in between it. When we get this line, it will just show us the middle point. Then you use this tool to split. So that's the half of, uh, of the shape we wanted. Then let's try to let's try to work on these corners because this corner is a bit sharp. We show you this tool. It is called uh, fit the curve. They shall work on those. Shall work on it. But our curves they are a bit big, so let's try to. This is 0 0.5, 0 0.1, let's give it 0 0.0, 0 0.005. It's too small still. Fill it. 0 0.05. I think this is enough. Mm. Let's see. It's not exact. It has things like or oh, like those steps. It has the steps. Let's work on the steps. Then let's play it. Then we shall contra shift. Then split. We shall come out with the steps something like that. Then uh, we we join these lines. So let's work on the curves. So you have something like that. So there are curves. Mm. So let's have the bottom. So this is the lid. That's the lid. It 
so measure like um, 8 centimeters that means the radius will be 4 centimeters let's try to see the measurement so let's work on the, the boat itself So we also take the rectangular point, then we get the middle point. We are following the lead this time. So we are taking, we're going to trim. So we are having that part. So we are having two parts. We have this part and this part. Those are the two parts we are going to work on. So let's work on the... This part is not sharp. That point is not sharp. Uh, let's take like uh, 0 0.1. It's a bit small. Let's take uh, let's take one. One is to be. Zero point. Yep. So we have two parts. These two parts. This corner is not too sharp. Zero point zero five. No. Zero point zero five. Yeah. And then this one. Zero point zero zero five. like that so we have these two parts the, the, the lid and uh, and the, the bottom part what we're going to do right now we're going to select all then we use this tool is called revolve we get the end knot and uh, revolve Revolve, then you go to the, we revolve to the full circle, there is revolve split tangent, there is revolve full circle, but we're going to revolve full circle. So we've revolved. Let's go to the perspective view and we see how the revolve looks like. So this is the revolve now. So this is our team. We have two parts. We have this and the lower part. So that's our team. We're going to use this tool. There is a this shell. Shell closed. Shell closed one. That is too big. Closed zero point zero five. So that is a ten. Then let's take back the lead. So let's go to layers. So we layers. We we differentiate colors. Let's give this yellow. Yellow. That's yellow. And 
and uh, and cream. So that's our tin. That's simple way of making a 3D model. So thank you very much for watching.